During the Renaissance, Bolognese dogs were sent as gifts among European royalty. These fluffy white dogs were admired for their beauty and devotion to the point where the Italian Bolognese's resemblance can be found in artwork from the time period. Now, centuries later, Bolognese dogs, also known as Bolos, remain a beloved breed that thrives as a pet companion. They are very loyal to their family and despite their small stature, they come with a personality twice their size. While these pups are adorable, they also love getting their own way and you'll have to enforce rules early on in their life to keep them under control. Want to know more about the Bolognese? You've come to the right place. In this video today, we're going to tell you everything you need to know about the breed, from their behavior and temperament to grooming and health issues. So without further ado, let's start our video on top 10 interesting facts about the Bolognese dog. But before we start our list, we'd like to take a moment to express our thanks to all the original Bolognese owners on this video. The video would seriously not have been possible without them. So don't forget to check out these adorable dogs from their Instagram profiles that have been linked in the description below. And now, let's begin the list. Number 1. Their History The Bolognese is one of the several breeds that belong to the Bichon family of dogs that originated in the Mediterranean a couple thousand years ago. The Bolognese was a popular dog in the ducal court of Bologna, Italy during the Middle Ages and the Renaissance. They were kept as companion dogs by the wealthy and were gifted to the nobility. The breed was even depicted as a loving pet in tapestry and artwork of those times. Artists such as Francesco de Goya, Tiziano Vecellio, and Antoine Watteau painted the bolos beside their beloved owners. Even Aristotle mentioned the Bolognese in a few of his writings. King Philip II of Spain was gifted two bolos and afterward he wrote a thank you letter saying, These two little dogs are the most royal gifts one can ever make to an emperor. But between the decline of nobility and the commencement of the First World War, this little breed almost became extinct. Thankfully, there were a few European breeders who focused on rebuilding the breed's numbers and popularity. Becoming a favorite at dog shows worldwide, the Bolognese was first shown in the famous Crufts Ring in 2002. The breed was recognized by the United Kennel Club on 1st of January 1995 and since then has also been a part of American Kennel Club's Foundation Stock Service, which is one of the first steps to AKC recognition. Number 2. Their Physical Characteristics With soft, slightly tufted coats, Bolognese dogs both feel and look like fluffy cotton balls. They are small dogs with stocky, square bodies that weigh between 5.5 to 9 pounds and are 10 to 12 inches tall. The breed is occasionally confused for the Maltese because of their similar small stature, flowing white locks, and gentle demeanor. Bolos, although, are slightly larger than their Maltese cousins and their unshaped coats give them an eccentric look. Other characteristics that define the Bolognese dogs include round black eyes, a black gumdrop nose, black nails, and a feathered tail that curls up over their backs. Number 3. There are true companion dogs Bolognese dogs tend to be quite calm and are usually playful and earnest. They are relatively easygoing and are happiest when they are with their family. These pups love to be the center of your attention, and they're sure to win you over with their playful and affectionate disposition. The Bolognese is a love bug and a family dog that enjoys nothing more than spending time with their family. While Bolos are loyal to their families, they can also be somewhat reserved and shy at times. But don't worry, with proper early socialization, a Bolo puppy can grow up to be a well-rounded dog that can easily warm up to strangers. As an affable breed, the Bolognese gets along well with most of the other household pets as well as children. But as with all breeds, kids and bolos should be supervised while playing, because these small bone dogs might not be able to withstand an enthusiastic child's bear hugs or roughhousing. Number 4. They are not particularly active. As far as exercise goes, Bolognese dogs do not require near the amount of exercise that some other breeds need. Most times, these dogs will be content hanging around with their owners in the house, but they will enjoy a short walk on a daily or a twice a day basis. Walks don't need to be too long in duration. About 30 minutes of exercise a day will do, along with some mild playtime. The breed is known to adapt to your lifestyle, so if you are active, your pup will adjust accordingly. Generally speaking, your Bolognese will be happy wherever you are. Number 5. They have a stubborn streak. Even though Bolognese dogs adore their humans, they also have a stubborn side when it comes to training. These dogs are highly intelligent and willful, so they are pretty good at figuring out how to get what they want from their humans. This is why make sure your Bolo knows the rules and enforce them gently from day one. Consistency is the key with these pups to make sure that they learn you are in charge. Number 6. They could be prone to small dog syndrome. If you are the kind of person who can't tell no to your adorable pet, you're going to have some problem with your adult Bolognese. Of course, you can spoil your pup, that's what toy dogs are for. But giving them lots of love and attention can cause small dog syndrome. Now, This small dog syndrome is a human-induced behavior where small dogs who are used to a lot of attention and love get away with ill behaviors purely because they are small. Such behaviors include jumping up at people, ignoring your commands, barking at visitors, and basically behaving like a spoiled brat. So make sure you don't treat your Bolognese like a doll to be carried 
or cuddled for hours. You could make them do obedience training or build them a tiny obstacle course. You can also teach them to play fetch with a cherished toy or ball. Above all, make sure that they don't get spoiled. Number 7. They are great therapy dogs Because of their friendly and gentle nature, the Bolognese has known to thrive as a therapy dog. They love people and are generally kind to everyone. Their loyalty, protectiveness, and affability make them ideal partners for elders or people with disabilities. These dogs will do best in a home with older children who are able to appropriately interact and play with dogs. Well, what can you say? It is almost impossible to be downhearted when there's a bull around. Number 8. Their Training the Bolognese is very intelligent and therefore is pretty easy to train. These pups love to please their owners and they just want to make you happy. However, they can sometimes try to get their own way and can develop a stubborn streak, especially if they are spoiled. You will need to keep training consistent with them so they learn to listen to you. And like all dogs, the Bolognese responds best to positive reinforcement and reward-based training. This includes a lot of verbal praise and treats. It is also very important that you start training your bolo from a young age so that they are less prone to developing small dog syndrome. Number 9. Their Grooming Needs Bolognese dogs are known for their fluffy white coat. Despite the fact that they are a hypoallergenic breed and their hair doesn't shed, they are still pretty high-maintenance dogs. Their white curly hair will require frequent brushing and bathing to keep it clean and well-maintained. Ideally, you will want to brush your dog three or more times every week. You may also want to take them to a groomer to keep their coat shorter for easier maintenance or consider trimming it yourself. Their nails should be trimmed once every month and you should regularly check their ears to look for dirt or a buildup. Number 10. They have some potential health concerns Overall, Bolognese dogs are healthy and they have a lifespan of 12 to 14 years. But there are a few common health concerns that you should be on the lookout for in your bolo. Like other small dogs, dental issues are a common problem. Scheduling regular cleanings and brushing your dog's teeth a few times a week will be important to prevent too much tartar buildup, diseases, or the need for tooth extractions. Another common disease among these dogs is leg calviprothesh disease. In this condition, the amount of blood that is able to reach the thigh bone is less than it should be. This causes the thigh bone to shrink, which can cause a Bolognese to limp. Hip dysplasia also affects some Bolognese dogs. This is a genetic condition in which the dog's thigh bone doesn't connect with their hip bone correctly. Patellar luxation is another health condition these dogs may be prone to. This condition occurs when your dog's kneecap dislocates and moves out of its typical position. Regular vet checkups and keeping an eye on your dog will ensure you catch any of these issues before they become untreatable. So make sure you keep tabs on your pup's health, especially in the early years. Also, never forget to follow the schedule of examinations and vaccinations that are recommended by your vet and don't miss any regular checkups. Alright folks, with that we've come to the end of our list of top 10 interesting facts about the Bolognese dogs. Thank you so much for watching the video. Please leave a thumbs up if you liked the video and share it with your friends and family as well. If you already have one of these super affectionate dogs in your family, let us know about the unique traits in the comments below. For more interesting dog related videos like this, click on our channel and don't forget to subscribe. Catch you guys in the next one.